All right, YouTube, coming back to you with a quick video. I watched a, a recent one on uh, Brian L's, The Fat versus Fiction, or something of that nature. And they're talking whether or whether or not to stake your uh, castle net for your buffer tube. And uh, when we were in the military, we staked our castle nuts. Um, I usually don't, because a lot of times I'll swap out uh, tubes or I'll do different things. So what I do is I usually just put uh, a good dot of red lock type, but I recently decided, you know what, I'm going to go back to my roots and I'm going to start putting a uh, a little bit or a little break in here to lock them in. Now, not all castle nuts have the ability to be staked. You have to have one where it has a little notch in the back. So if you have one where it's completely flat on the back side, uh, you could probably stake it if you wanted to, if you want to put a little notch into it. But normally it's easier if you have the little cutout, like you can see right there, little cutout for you to stake it. So I'm going to show you an easy way to stake it with not having to worry about doing anything crazy, putting in a jig or anything. And all you need is an auto punch. So easiest way to do this takes a couple minutes, if that. Take an auto punch and you're going to start with it on its lowest setting. If you don't have one of uh, different settings, that's fine. So put it on its lowest setting. This one's already done. But you put it at a somewhat angle and then put your finger on it so it doesn't slide and mess up your uh, paint job, Cerakote, uh, spray paint, you know, unicorn stickers, whatever. Hold it nice and snug so it's not going to go anywhere. Oop, sorry about that. Give it a little tap. And then after you get a couple runs at it, turn it up to its higher settings. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to... Well, I'm not going to keep doing it because mine's already there. But give it about 10 or 15 good punches. And that little crater is going to keep working. And you want to do it where it comes kind of at an angle. And eventually your uh, butt plate will start working over and it will create a small little indentation that will work its way into that cavity. Now you don't want to stake it so hard that if you ever want to take this castle nut off that you're going to have to take a Dremel and grind it because that's an absolute pain in your bootiest Maximus. What you want to get it is to the point is if you put Loctite like I did and it fails or if you're really hard on your rifle or if you get a lot of vibration from thousands of rounds you don't want this guy to start turning and if it does come loose it will only be able to turn that tiny little one degree before it hits that little teeny bit of metal. And the great part is if it does go past that little bit of metal, which you're shiny, which I'm probably put a little paint on if I want to, you'll be able to know, hey, my castle nut's coming loose. I need to go back and I need to tighten this. But that is the way I found that's the easiest. If you want to stake your buffer tube castle nut, that only requires... A simple tool that you can buy on Amazon, eBay. I got this one at Advanced Auto Parts for I think like six bucks, and it only takes you a couple minutes. As usual, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, you think I need a manicure, you want to call me fat and ugly, leave it down in the comment section.